Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I would like to talk about the PUE Bundle of Win32 Rust Pay. This detection may appear in your system after installing something and indicate the activity of an unwanted program. Such apps are only look not threatening, but are in fact capable of making quite a mess in the system. In this video, I will explain what the detection means, where it came from, and how to remove Win32 Rust Pay from your system. So, starting with the meaning. PA Bundle of Win32 Rust Pay is a detection name that Microsoft Defender uses to mark software developed by Rust Pay, a Russian software development company. It concludes that their software is unsafe, not because it is Russian, but because of its poor functionality, questionable features, and continuous violation of software spreading rules. But let's have a look at each of these issues one by one. Here I have a machine with a Rust Pay thing, namely the program called Driver Hub. It is one of the recent products, but for the functionality, it is just a yet another driver updater and is fairly representative to all other software of this developer. Such applications are nearly useless nowadays, and since there is no information about where it sources the drivers from, it is also a security risk. But this program has more dangerous thing going for its status, and they seem to appear in other Rust Pay apps. At the very beginning, when I was installing this Rust Pay software product, it offered me to install three additional programs. A no-name password manager, an Opera GX browser, and an antivirus program. I truly believe that the latter two names do not spread in bundles intentionally, but having them installed in that way is not a good sign. More interesting things happen when you actually try to use the program as intended. There is no direct paywall, with only a few options locked behind the quote-unquote premium version. But each time you will try to do something that looks as free, you will see this pretty warning. All this bureaucratic language and evasive terminology hides one concerning fact. Linsed to Raspberry is in fact a proxyware. Proxyware is a type of unwanted software that aims at turning the system into a proxy node, routing third-party internet traffic through the computer. On paper, this is just about some marketing and business research data that should be collected from different locations. But there are dozens of cases when such functionality is used to route absolutely random and probably illegal traffic. And aside of that, the excessive usage of internet traffic may deplete your own bandwidth, creating problems with internet speed and potentially leading to huge bills for the users of metered connections. Well, at this point, I think it is clear that PE Bundle of Institute of Rust Pay is not a thing that you can simply ignore. It has way too many dangers by itself, can install other programs, and to make the matters worse, it is usually spread in software bundles. You could have seen those additional software offers when downloading a free program or a cracked version of a popular software. That is it. What this means is that aside from the Raspberry thing, you may also have quite a few other unwanted programs running in the system. Now it is time to see how to remove it. The sheer volume of unwanted apps that are potentially present make manual approaches tedious and pretty much waste of time. To scan the entire system and make all the unwanted programs gone, I recommend using Gridin Soft and Timelware. This effective and lightweight program will quickly find and remove all the junk regardless of the way they arrived. Run a standard scan and let it finish. It normally takes around 5 minutes. Once the scan is complete, click Clean Out to remove the detected items. The more detections there are, the more time it will take to delete them all. Now the system is clean. Good luck and stay safe online.